says that it's five minutes to 12, and I know that you all want to stay in time. So let me start my presentation. And as a caveat, I'm a first timer, and I'm not a presenter, but a programmer's guy. So um, there will definitely be some glitches in my presentation. All right, so um, my presentation is about the Alexis project and the Alexis server. And as we had the presentation from Christian Knapp this morrow with the Swiss Army Knife, I thought I'm just going to take this one to tell you about our Swiss project, naming it the Swiss Knife Cuts It in Switzerland. So what is the Alexis project? It's an open source solution for the requirements of a Swiss medical practice. The project was started in 2005 by a Swiss physician. There is a commercial product available. Um, it's based on the open source, however, extending it with several commercial plugins and stuff. And it's distributed by the enterprise Metalaxis. So the legacy Alexis UI uh, is based on an Eclipse Rich Client platform. So to be honest, it's the first time for me with Fire Conference, but I've been to the Eclipse Conference uh, a few times and I've even became an Eclipse committer due to process on um, this application. It's the productive two-layer application, so it's directly connected with um, the database. And it has dozens of plugins to handle all the requirements of a medical practice. So we are not talking about the clinician system, but it's really for small uh, practices and even bigger practices starting from last year with a big group in Switzerland called Medics. Um, that's where we go to the Alexis server. We started the Alexis server as, uh, replace, uh, as a means to replace the two-layer architecture and to provide a component that is going to be connectable 24-7, which is obviously not the case if the uh, practitioner only has his Alexis user interface. And I'm going to right skip to the part now with the second dot where it comes to the connection to the fire conference. The Alexis server up to now provides selected uh, fire resources, so we follow a lazy implementation pattern uh, just by implementing the stuff we need for our requirements and an open ID service. So the idea here is every medical practice features its own self-sufficient smart on fire server with its own open ID service. So we have kind of a peer-to-peer -peer setting where everyone can decide who else is allowed to connect to his practice and to what uh, connections he wants to go out. And in implementing the server, we follow a fire-first approach. Everything that is realizable using means of fire is done with fire for the remaining API. We use Swagger or OpenAPI to describe it. So what was the reason we created our own smart on fire server, or as Christian told it, we made a facade using Happy Fire, is for one hand, there are several projects that force everybody to push all the data to a central location. This is not what we want. We want every practice to retain control over its data and each physician to be able to decide for himself on what he wants to distribute to whom. And by this tool, we want to kind of um, like, like the e-patient, like he told it in the e-patient talk, to enable the practitioner to do the same thing, to be responsible for his own data. It allows an opt-in for interoperability for existing installations, that is, um, the practitioner already runs this software and now there's an easy way for him to share it with Fire. And as I already shortly told you, it should allow a peer-to-peer -peer setting where each can decide for himself on what he, who he wants to connect with. For example, a practitioner um, taking care of the patients of another practitioner because he's on a vacation might allow the other practitioner for a certain timeline to see the data of his patients. So how did we um, make this happen? 
how did the Lexus server become smart on fire? First, we started to integrate OpenID with a Maven overlay, um, connecting it to the Lexus database, and we extended the login with two-factor authorization because we saw that the only username password approach was not sufficient enough. Then we implemented the Harpy Fire resources with a facade, so we mapped our own model to the Fire model, and it's interesting to see that this is qu quite straightforward. If you have the Swiss model or the way we implemented it, mapping it to the Fire model, and then we added the Smart on Fire profile, packaged this all together as OSGI bundle in, in, in order to get a running product, Eclipse product. So when it comes to the physician using the software, the working stack of the physician is just his Alexis user interface. So he's even able to configure the users that are going to be allowed to use the fire interface from within there and um, use the apps provided with their own server. The developer's working stack is we provide the Lexus server either via, via source, so it's all on GitHub. You can have an installable product or even a Docker image, which we prepared for you to do easy development. Um, as we all come from a, a Java enterprise background, we had a hard time on selecting a, a JavaScript framework that really fit to us. We were like looking at Angular and React and it, it, it was not really working out for the way you feel as a Java developer. And in the end, we just uh, saw Vue.js and it just worked out. It, it's, it's just the way they designed it and the way it's kind of building up on itself just fitted the way we thought and so we, we started to work into it and we even got as far as to create a known plugin for easy usage of the Alexis server. Okay, so this is, this is pretty new stuff all uh, on the last three months, I guess. So I, I come from a Java setting and I'm a pretty newbie in a JavaScript setting, but it seems to really work out quite good. So for all of you who are not familiar with this, this is the JavaScript framework. And as far as I've read, it's gained a big momentum. For example, it's used within GitLab, which we also use internally and I think that it's not going to go away quite soon. So our plugin uh, simply integrates all the smart on fire stuff you need. So you can just easily start the Vue.js project, then you add the Vue.js plugin, and it adds a root guard. That is, as soon as you enter your Vue.js application, you're not going to get anywhere until you have a proper authentication with the Alexa server which then enables you to do all the work you want. So it provides you with the static pre-configured accesses, which as I said, on the one hand are the respective smart on fire uh, access methods, and on the other hand are the swagger tools we need for everything that is not included. And as a first timer, I learned really a lot this week, for example, just about Firepath with Evout, and there is a lot of things to come in the next weeks where I already saw that I just did it too complicated and already there is a better solution for it. So I just want to give you a quick demonstration on, on, on what's a current status on this and how this is working productively, so to say. Um, and I think I can just get them to synchronize, yeah, now it's not going away. So this is uh, the default Alexis user interface which the, the practitioner has, it's, it's the list of patients, it's all the coverages, so it's obviously it's in, in German, it's the medications, it's all the encounters uh, that are there and there is a lots of, of different other details about the patient whatsoever, the laboratory values. So that's just the legacy application um, the practitioner uses. And you see there are lots of additional icons for all the other stuff they use. So it's mostly Swiss specific. Um, okay, but I'm gonna just show you something where we 
leveraged the possibilities of appointments and slots and, and, and uh, areas whatsoever. And by this, I simply connect to a sample which I connected with, which I connected this database with. So it's, it's, it's just an example where you are now redirected to the fire server within the practice and now I do the login directly with the server in the practice. So the password is not going anywhere but just directly exchanged with the medical practice. And as you can see, I, we extended it a little bit more with giving you the name of the practice you're connected with and uh, the two-factor authorization which is just time-based. So I have this tool. And after a login, after the login, I'm getting connected with the Vue CLA. Honest, it does not look that much on a programmer or a designer, but uh, it should show you the thing so I can ha select the, the area. Currently for this conference, I just did the, the, the rooms, the Louis and, and cars. Other things are just like the waiting room whatsoever. And if you go here, you can see about um, the talks and I can, for example, change the state here. If you see patient generated health data is in state not yet started. So this should generally assemble the state of a, of a patient. And so we can say now, okay, uh, like the physician is with the tablet and he says, okay, this one is done. Um, and afterwards it's refreshed and you get the info here, patient generated health data with consent, this one, so let's see it. Um, and with the refresh, you see that it's turning green in here. It should be turning green in here. Yeah. No matter what. So I, it, it worked like 10 times. I tried it outside on the couch, but Murphy. Murphy sitting in here somewhere, I don't know. Okay, um, so this is the state of um, our, our fire project at the moment uh, and there is going to be happening a lot in the next months to come. And if you wanna try it at home, um, it's pretty easy to do so, there's a pre-prepared Alexis demo server, it's, it's really self-sufficient. It has a demo database, you find the description. So by just executing this, you get a server running. And I have a tutorial on how to do a very basic implementation and you can even connect your Alexis user interface. It's all open source and have a look at it. Um, yeah, and there is some links. So that's from my side what I wanted to show you. Thank you very much.